hello good evening everyone this is life issue and this is blessing now thank you everyone that subscribed to my channel now if you've not subscribed yet please 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 help me hit the red button so that you will get our news once we upload it there's a lot of thing happening in nigeria and you need to be current and you need to know what is happening now just this morning early this morning at exactly 1 15 a.m Human rights activist Omoyeli Yeli Soboro was ar arrested by the men of the Department of State Service in Nigeria. Now they invaded his apartment, his house. He was not invited for any questioning. He, they did not serve him anything, they did not even call him for anything. They just came to his house and they arrested him. And since then, no one knows his whereabouts, no one has heard from him. And the Nigerian police, um, the Nigerian police force public relation officer Frank Omba said he was not aware of this arrest. He was not even aware there was going to be arrest. But we are we know that this must have been done from Abuja because these were DSS men. Now we're not even sure if they are DSS men, okay? um because the president haven't even said anything so people are saying he's kidnapping people are saying he's arrest we don't know um nobody knows where he's whereabouts as as we're talking to you now he has not been nobody has communicated not even his family nobody knows where he is now these men were numbering up to eight they were fully armed and they condoned he they condoned his his building and they took him off the last place he was seen was in k2 now, if you don't know um, Omoyele Soware, Soware happens to be the owner of Sahara Reporter. Now, this is where most of the vloggers, we normally get our African news from Sahara Reporter. They are up to date. These are kind of like, you know, where almost Nigerian news online are getting from. They started very early. Now, he also contested the presidential candidate for AAC, AAC, and he lives in America, but apparently he he comes to Nigeria. He's very he's an activist. He's very vocal, um, talking about the things that are happening in our country, and now he's been arrested. Now, from the news we're getting, he's been arrested because of his revolution now protest that is built to be held on the 5th of august okay and um if you've not heard about i haven't heard about that revolution now until this didn't happen i started reading about it so he's been vocal about the kidnapping about what is happening in the country the economy the society as a whole the headsman everything he's been talking about it very vocal and he wanted nigerians to come out they call it the orange um revolution why well, Nigerians to come out and stage a peaceful protest on the 5th of August. But apparently now he's been arrested. But he, from what I can get, his members are still saying that the protest will still go on, that they will not be shot. And many people are supporting the revolution now um, protest. Now the point is, if the government did not want to create awareness of this man's revolution they shouldn't have arrested him they shouldn't have arrested him through the dss they shouldn't have made what they've just done now they've given him more support because people like me who were not even aware of this revolution now i i see it sometimes on some celebrities um website but i didn't know what it was and i didn't really you know want to find out what it was because i didn't understand what was going on but now, everybody knows about it. Everybody has read about it. And Nigerians, this is trending. People are talking about this, okay? Um, the AAC, AAC Council, has, he has condemned the arrest of his um, presidential candidate, or former presidential candidate. And they are saying that this is witch hunting. That everybody, and in a democratic setting, everybody does have the right for freedom of speech, for for fair protest, to be able to criticize a ruling party without 
being arrested or being intimidated. Now, so many Nigerians have come up to criticize um, President Buhari and the DSS for what has happened. I'm going to start with Obi. Obi's comments. Now, Obi is saying, um, free Sarawa, free, you know, she's just chanting free Sarawa because what she's saying is to speech and protest caption. That means she's supporting the the revolution now. She's talking about it. She's creating awareness. She has a lot of followers, so people are knowing about it through her. And then she retweeted somebody's um, post. Now, somebody posted about when Buhari was not in support of Obasanjo and other people, that he himself was an activist and he also did his own demo protest. And, he, and they are saying he was not arrested by any DSS. So why is he arresting this person who is also a Nigerian citizen who has a right to free and fair protest if he wants to, has a right to criticize? And, you know, funny thing about this is that why wasn't the vocal critic of, of, of um, Obas Sanjo and Good Luck Donatans a regime? He was always in the air. He was always attacking them. He was always talking about them. But now... He doesn't want people to criticize his regime. Well, that is funny. Now, this is um, who else is talking about this? Um, Suleiman. Oh, yeah, Pastor Suleiman made his own comment. I mean, he's been attacked so many times by Zahara Report, which is owned by uh, um, Sorowe, Sowere, which is owned by Sowere. But he's saying that, you know, we need to come out and, you know, tell the president to release him. He should not die in detention. We don't even know if he's dead yet. Um, so, we, and he's saying that it's wrong. It doesn't matter what this guy has done to me. People are entitled to protest. Okay, that protest is okay. And he, maybe the word revolution shouldn't have used it, but really, it's all about protest. Okay. And Towolo Lawi posted pictures of what happened, what the DSS people did to this guy's car. My God, if it's this country, they will let her pay. You cannot come to somebody's house and destroy the car like that. What has a car got to do with um, the man? It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, who has spoken about this? Atiku came out to say freedom of speech is not only constitutional, guaranteed. It is the structure of our democracy. This, this, this kidnapping in the guise of arrest stands condemned. So people are saying it is kidnapping. It's not an arrest because we haven't heard from the man. Nobody knows his, you know, his whereabouts. He's been missing, hasn't spoken to his family. So people are really worried about his whereabouts because the police are not aware of it. And many Nigerians are reacting. No more Nigerians like me and you, common Nigerians who are commoners, who are the masses. We are reacting because we are afraid of the society that we find ourselves. This is not a democracy. And this is not a dictatorship. This is supposed to be a democratic rule. We voted these people in. So we do have a right under democratic rule to protest, okay? Now, it is funny that the government supports people yesterday protested um, trying to intimidate Amnesty Nigeria and they were not arrested. These are people that were in front of an, an Amnesty and, you know, protesting. Why were they not arrested? But now people that want to protest their own, they are being arrested. This is like double standard. You know, our country, Nigeria, every day a new news comes and is worse than the other one. Okay, I don't know what, what we need to do, but this is getting worse on bad. Um, yesterday, I posted a video about the Catholic priest and the RCCG pastor. My take is this could not have gotten this far if everybody, both the high and the mighty, were talking about this, were crying. But we've lived four years of just talking about Jonathan didn't do this, Jonathan didn't do that. We're all busy criticizing Jonathan four years past. Now we're in the seventh year of Buhari's administration and nothing is being done and people are still protecting him, covering him. We are not, you know, criticizing this guy in a constructive way. He feels that anyone that criticizes him now is actually, you know, working against him. But if people have... If people really, by, by the deal with Jonathan, or from the onset, started criticizing, started telling him about the things that he's doing that was wrong, maybe he will not feel that protest and criticism is, you know, fighting against his government. Of course, we should, I, 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 you know, 
let's talk about america or the uk the way we criticize our president uh, sorry our prime minister or our president it is mind-blowing people talk about people can people even shout at him people even when he's passing on the road they make comments i mean he, he's normal you can write something about boris johnson even the mayor of london blast him almost every day people you know get on on the system and they talk about him about you know and nobody is arrested we protest almost every time even when he was when he was being um sworn in as the prime minister there were protests in front of his house people that were living with him in his former house did a process you know it is a norm is is no more democracy comes with protest okay but i don't know why people are now being intimidated in nigeria and people cannot voice out this is wrong okay i hope this man is released i hope he doesn't die i hope you know he comes out of it and at the end of the day august 5th more people are going to be participating in this peaceful protest and i'll be keeping you guys updated what is going on all right thank you so much for listening thank you so much for watching please 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 let's keep you know talking about issues that's happening in nigeria let no one cow you know no one you know make you not to talk no, no one intimidates you because it's only when we talk and the whole world hears and the whole world see that justice can prevail thank you all right please help me subscribe please help me share Please help me drop your comments. What do you think? Thank you. Bye-bye.